Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've made a video. Here we have a VL3500. Uh, it does a squeaky sound uh, when you move the tilt. So we're gonna take out the tilt stabilizer and we're gonna clean it. And I'm gonna show you how to get to it. So I'm gonna lay you guys right here. The tricky part to cleaning this piece right here is getting to the screw that's like in between the sidearm here and the yoke. There's a little flathead Phillips screw there. Uh, usually people will take out this module and go with a long screwdriver because even the stubbies can't get in there. It's really too, uh, too tight. So it really pays off to have the right kind of tools. So this is a mini, mini ratchet. So I'm just gonna try and slide it in there. Like so. Or else you'd have to get out this tree here. So when the zoom is down and you have to power it up to get the zoom up to get this tree out, you know, it could be a waste of time. But just having the right tools can save you a lot of effort. So we're just gonna get it out again. Don't lose this screw. So now we're gonna turn this over. I'm gonna pull you guys back a little. Down like this. So we'll need to take this MCV off. I already started disassembling it before the video. You can hear the radio in the back here in the morning is uh, people are in a good mood. Okay, so we just pull it out like this. Get it out the wiring harness, just like that. So I'll take clock, isopropyl, alcohol put a lot on there and we're gonna clean the inside you might as well remove the dust everywhere this perfectly clean and we're gonna do the same with the shaft just gonna take the clock and we're gonna move the head Yeah, that was dirty. So after that, you put it back in place. Slide the wiring through it. Like that. So I'll always put in the screw first in the hole. It's gonna be easier like that. And then you lean the stabilizer against it. Whoops. Yeah, that happens. Ah. You see, I get clumsy too. Anything can happen. Like I said before, my videos aren't scripted, so if something blows up, you'll see it. There you go. So it all adds up to having the right tool. So if you want to know, by the way, what's in my toolkit, what special tools I use, what little things I have in my toolkit that can save you a lot of time, uh, you just check the video description on YouTube and 
there's a link there. You can just click and you'll see everything. It's off Amazon. So it's perfectly secure. So there you go, we just cleaned the tilt stabilizer. And now, it doesn't make any squeaky sound like it used to. And it also helps uh, on the tilt belt and motor uh, when this is clean, so it doesn't have to work too hard to move the head. So you don't hear that sound when the, the stepper motor is skipping. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Watch the check check out the Facebook page and uh, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.